Hello everyone, my name is Doug Hills and I'd like to welcome you to this introductory video for the Ultimate 3D Poses Pack for Clip Studio Paint presented by Graphixly. These are a collection of preset 3D model poses that you can use as either a quick reference material to work from or perhaps as a source of inspiration if you happen to be stuck on how you'd like a particular character to look in a scene. The goal of this video is to help you through the steps needed to use this pack in Clip Studio Paint, whether by copying and pasting elements into an existing project or registering these elements to materials so that they can then be quickly used as needed. If you have not purchased your pack yet, simply open up your browser and head over to graphicsly.com, select add-ons from the main menu and click on 3D Poses Pack. Once it's been downloaded, we need to unpack our zip file. For Mac, it's a case of double-clicking the zip file and everything is unpacked into a separate folder. For Windows, click on the zip file, right-click, and select Extract All. Select the destination you'd like the extracted folder to be in and press the Extract button. Opening the folder, we can see that there are 100 different poses that are available, which are broken down into different actions. Fighting, gesture, ground sitting, idle, and running and jumping. And preview images for each folder are provided so you can find the type of pose that you want to use without having to search through each file individually. The pack includes two different file types, transparent PNG files, which are static images of each pose, and a single .clip file containing each pose as a separate 3D model on their own individual layer. The PNG files are going to be useful if you want a simple pose to work from for reference, while the clip file gives you the ability to adjust the model's position, angle, and lighting to suit what you're going for in a scene. To open one of these files in Clip Studio Paint, I found that the easiest method is to place a Finder or Explorer window above Clip Studio Paint, select an image, I'll go to Fighting, and I'll select Fighting 4. And then, just click and drag, and the image opens up in a separate tab. To add a PNG file to an existing comic page, I'll select the layer in the Layers palette, and select Edit, Copy from the main menu, I'll come over to my blank page here, and then Edit, paste and then I'll go to edit transform scale rotate to reposition the size on the canvas keep in mind that when we are working with PNG files we are working with a raster or pixel based layer meaning that the image quality will degrade if you're scaling larger than the original size which we didn't have to worry about in this case or if I chose to like transform this again and again and again, the more I transform this same image, the, the more that the image quality will begin to break down. With the dot clip file, the process is the same. I could just click and drag, or because this is a native Clip Studio Paint file, I can double click and open up right within the program. This is where the preview images are going to be useful. To find the pose, select the folder that you want, go to fighting, and We'll go with Fighting 4 again. I want to hide the existing layer. So I'll click the eyeball icon here. I'll go to Fighting 4 and click the eyeball checkbox here. Now that's visible. Now I can go and copy this. Edit, copy. Come over to my illustration, blank canvas, edit, paste. And again, it's pasted right in just like I did with the PNG file. Unlike working with the PNG file, you can't do a simple transform. For this, you have to go to the Object Select tool, and now we have to change the camera position. And zoom out a little bit until it fits the canvas. Here's where using clip files versus the static PNG files has an advantage. With this 3D model, we can change the angle. We can change the zoom if we really want to get deep into the settings we can adjust like the field of vision and all sorts of different options change the lighting and whatnot and we have the option of like let's say we want to tweak this image a little bit clicking on the character you have these control points so we can bring the foot in we can rotate the leg the foot and if I want to go even further with a bit of control, click again, and the controls change a little bit. Change the elbow, and reposition thing, and the body repositions as well. And if you make a mistake, edit, undo, 
and do it as many times until you get back to where you were. If you find a 3D model or a PNG file that you feel that you're going to be using fairly frequently, why not register it to materials? First thing I'm going to do is open up a materials window. So window, material, and I can select any of these because I'm actually going to go to all materials up here. I'm going to right click, new folder, ultimate 3D models. And then I can select my 3D model, make sure that it's visible, and then I can go edit, register material image, or just click and drag the model right to the folder. Then, coming back to illustration, I'm going to remove the old model, Let's shift this over a little bit, and now I just click and drag, do, or press the paste button down here. And again, adjust the size, adjust the position, however I need it. And that's it. All that's left to do is repeat this process for any of the images or 3D models that I would like to add into my copy of Clip Studio Paint. Now, whichever type of file format you use, I think that you're going to find these posts useful, especially if you're feeling stuck. The important thing to remember is that you don't have to follow the pose exactly. You should look at it as a guide of sorts that you can then use to build upon and create your own look for the character that you're working on in your comic. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this introductory video. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope that you found it useful and I really hope that you will enjoy playing around with the Ultimate 3D Models Pack for Clip Studio Paint presented by Graphics. My name is Doug Hills and I'll see you around.